Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did this blue glitter cut crease and I, I absolutely love the way it turned out. I also did an in-depth face routine so you guys can check that out. So if you want to see how I did this, check it out. So I'm just going to start off and do my base first which is something I have been doing recently. So I have my hair tied up. Matter of fact, ooh, let me get my Christmas sweater. No, I'm going to get it later. But... I have my hair tied back with a scrunchie. So, my face makeup, I usually, it depends on what I'm doing and what, and what products I use. But, so I need to moisturize my face. I already did my skincare routine, which I, I already did a video on that before, but I could do an updated one. But it's basically the same thing, just different products. Dries my face since I had dry skin with the e.l.f. Daily moisturizer. So since today is Christmas and you're gonna be spending time with your family, you wanna make sure your face is moisturized and you ready. You ready. I'm gonna put on my shea butter. This is it's in the Clinique. Um. So now that I'm done hydrating, I'm gonna prime. I'm gonna prime using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, pore minimizing one. So, for me, I have large pores around my cheeks. So, I take like this much. And I just take it on my two fingers right here. And I just mush and put it right there on my cheeks. Elf. The Elf Poise Face Primer. I love that one. It's cost $6. The mini, well, like, the first size cost $6. So, I'm going to be taking the Smashbox, not Smashbox, the Hard Candy Mattifying Primer. I'm going to place that in areas I need to get matte. I know y'all going to be like, why did you hydrate your face if you're going to put mattifying primer on there? That's what you got to do, you know? I'm not going to be going really too into detail with my other videos. The only videos I'm going into, the, into like this much detail with my face is this one, the first video. And my fourth video. But I'm very excited to continue to do 12 Days of Christmas. I think it's going to be a hit. I think it's going to be a banger. I think it's it's really challenging to me too. Not like in a bad way, but like, I like, I need to tap into my more creative side. That's what I'm saying. The LA Girl Pro Concealer as foundation. This is in the shade Dark Cocoa. I think since it's going to be Christmas, you want to make sure that when you take pictures with your family, that you don't get any flashback at all and this this is what i can guarantee that gives me no flashback honestly the fitzy beauty it looks good in person but when the camera flash comes on it's not it she said it's not it so i just squeeze some out and i just start drawing it all over my face take take some and carve out the over top of my brows that's like something I always got to do with this foundation. This e.l.f. Ultimate Bending Brush. And then I just start tapping the product in. Not swiping, and tapping. And I, love, I learned this from P. Louise. If you don't know what they are, they are bomb at doing eyeshadow, doing makeup. They're beat. If you ever go to them, they're fake, them if you ever go to their Instagram, beat. They don't play no games. Honestly, this foundation is a little rare for me, but I make it work. Never really place the foundation underneath your eyes. I have like a lot of glow. I honestly do think I added way too a little too much foundation, but it's okay. I'm gonna be a full coverage queen today. So I'm gonna take this sponge. You can use any sponge you want, but I'm gonna take this one. Basically, you can get this from Ulta. <laughs> That's why I got mine off for free. And I just press it into my skin. Now I'm going to take the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Deep Dark 52. Hopefully that focused. And place it where I highlight. I don't add a lot underneath my eyes. 
And I reverse contour with this. Contouring with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and Mahogany. I don't add a lot on my nose because I'm like, I feel like I be elongating it and I don't want a long nose. Then, oh my. And I blend all that out using the same solid sponge that I blended out my foundation with. I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. I placed it in a different container because I don't like the one that come in. Because that, that's tragic. That's a mess. And I'm going to take the other side of the sponge, this side. And I'm going to dip my powder, my brush in, my sponge in there. My <laughs> and just set everywhere I just placed the concealer. So my tint first because that's where it gets the most oily. Take a little bit more. Set my forehead. Turn the sponge back over so I can bend out underneath my eye. And go underneath my eye. Different powder because I don't like using this powder to reverse contour since I feel like I don't feel like I don't like it was the way it looks on me. So I take the Maybelline Femi powder in dark 40. And I just use the same side of the sponge with the powder. And I bake my smile lines because that's why I crease up. And now I reverse contour. I'm gonna prime my eyelid with the color with the same concealer I used before, the color pop no filter concealer. To blend out my concealer using a foundation brush, so that's what I'm gonna use. I just tap. So tapping out all the creases, I'm gonna be taking the ColourPop E1 brush. That's what it looks look. That's what it looks like. And the Morphe 35B palette. If you guys don't have this palette, I'm sorry. I, and if but if you got the James palette, I'm pretty sure you can use the colors in there. I'm gonna be starting off with this blue right here. I'm tapping it in the crease. This, this look involves a lot of tapping. I hope you guys have a very good Christmas and spend time with your family. I hope you get what you wanted for Christmas also. Like makeup. That's what I want for Christmas. So now you actually like this. And I'm going to be taking this palette right here. It's an LA Color Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to take the blue shade in it. This shade right here. Turn the brush over and use this side. And darken up the crease. And just do the same thing. Just pat it on. Really do like... I love the Grinch. I know it's like... It's, I love it. I just... I don't know. It just reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> I'm still a child, of course, but... I'm going to start dragging this outwards. But lightly. So now with the same brush, we're going to tap it off a little bit. I'm going to go into this dark blue shade from the Morphe 35B. And I'm going to darken it up some more. I like to use this brush for cut creases. It's an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. So now I'm going to take the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Deep Dark 52 again. And I'm just put some on the back of my hand and take my brush and place it in there like this so I get covered. And now for me to do a cut crease, I like to tap it in the shape of my crease. So I start at the inner part of my eye and I start tapping outwards and then I start doing the cut crease with this shade, with this concealer. <laughs> switch to this brush right here. I'm going to add some more concealer in the back of my hand. I'm going to switch to this brush right here and drag it out to make the wing. I'll take some concealer on this brush and i start
I'm drag it out like that and pat the rest of it out. It's flat brush. And I'm gonna take this glitter primer. This ultra glitter primer. Squeeze some on the back of my hand. Pack it all over my eyelid. I'm just tapping this. The next glitter in the shade Crystal. It's like the holographic one. And me personally, I like to dump the glitter on a piece of tissue. So it's easier for me to dispose of. And start tapping it on there. So now your eyes should look like this. Honestly, I really do love this look. And you can see there is literally no fallout on my face. None at all. So now I'm going to wipe off my bake. My, um, my, my wrist contour bake. Now we back with the other eye done. Now that lashes are finally on. The lashes I used today are Kiss Lashes and Demi Whispies. I love these lashes. And honestly, it looks really good with this look. That's why I'm happy I did this. So wipe off the rest and wipe off the glitter that fall that fell out. It's not much, but it's still some. I'm using the shade Brownie Bite from the Beige Cosmetics. It's my Ravey palette. This brown shade right here. On the same brush, I just take a side of it and just start dipping in there and start contouring my face. I'm laying right in there, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be taking this Cover Girl Liquid Line Best. I'm going to line my waterline with it. This brush from e.l.f. I'm going to use that. A little bit of this dark blue shade right here in the same palette. So I like to use this lippy stick for ColourPop called Faded as Cream Blush like at the bridge of my nose and I blend out the blush with my finger I really love the way this looks so to set that blush I like to use the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade Berry nose and I take some blush and just Tap it. So I'm going to take this pencil brush. I'm going to highlight my brown bone using this shade right here called Radiant. This elf highlighter in Blush Gems as a base, as a start highlighter. I'm gonna highlight it all over my face with this Gala highlighter in Gilded Honey. I love this highlighter is bomb. <laughs> the Tarte Man Eater mascara. I also got this on sale for Black Friday. I'm not gonna apply it to my top lashes because they blended very well today. So I'm just gonna apply it to my bottom lashes. This Wet n Wild lip liner in Brandy Wine. It's just a brown metallic. I'm gonna take this ColourPop lippy stick in grunge. Y'all, as y'all can tell, I love ColourPop. This is almost gone. As y'all can, this is how far it's gonna roll up. This is almost gone. But I ordered two more today, so this is my favorite lipstick ever. I apply it in the middle. Press my lips together. And then I take my finger and blend it all out. I love adding a gloss. I usually add a clear gloss. But since I got this Dosa Colors gloss, I'll add this one. So this is the Dosa Colors gloss in On Repeat. Yeah, On Repeat. And I'll just add that in the middle. Press my lips together. And blend it out with my finger. <laughs> Yeah, 
enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more just like it. Tomorrow's day two, so please look forward to it. Turn on the bell so you can get the notification. Also, if you have any ideas, please comment down below. I love you guys and bye!